Aye, very possible that. A very possible bit of risotto, I do say so myself. Nothing like a good glass of Chateau de Chasselet, Josiah. You're out there, Robert, are you? Who'd have thought 30 years ago we'd be sitting here drinking a glass of Chateau de Chasselet, eh? In them days, we were glad to have the price of a cup of tea. Aye, a cup of cold tea. Without milk or sugar. Or tea. In a crack cup and all. Ooh, we never even had a cup. We used to have to drink out of a rolled up newspaper. The best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. But you know, happy in those days, even though we were poor. Because we were poor and all, my old man used to say to me, money doesn't buy you happiness, son. Aye, he was right. Aye, he was. I was happier then, and I had nothing. We used to live in this tiny old house with great big holes in the roof. House? You were lucky to live in house. We used to live in one room, all 26 of us, no furniture, half of the floor was missing, and we were all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling. Hey, you were lucky to have a room. We used to live in corridor. What? A bloody corridor? We used to dream of living in a bloody corridor. Would have been a bloody palace to us. We used to live in an old water tank on a rubbish tip. And we got woke up every morning by having a load of rotting fish dumped all over us. House? <laughs> well, when I say house, it was only all in ground covered by a sheet of tarpaulin, but it were a house to us. We were evicted from our all in ground. We had to go and live in a lake. Hey, you lucky to have a lake. There were 150 of us living in shoebox in the middle of the road. A cardboard bloody box? Aye. Well, you were bloody lucky. We lived for three months in a paper bag in a septic tank. We used to have to get up at six in the morning, clean the paper bag, eat a crust of stale bread, go to work at mill for 14 hours a day, week in, week out, six pence a week we got paid. And when we got home, his dad had thrash us to sleep with his belt. Luxury. We used to have to get out of the lake at three o'clock in the morning, clean the lake, eat a handful of gravel, work 24 hours at mill for twopence a month, Come home and Dad would thrash us about the head and neck with a broken bottle if we were lucky. Well, of course we had it tough. We used to have to get up our shoebox at 12 o'clock at night and lick road clean with a tongue. We had bits of cold gravel, worked 24 hours a day at mill for sixpence every four years. When we got home, our dad had slices in two with a bread knife. Right. I had to get up in the morning at 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before we went to bed, drink a cup of sulfuric acid, work 29 hours a day down mill and pay mill owner for permission to come to work and when we got home, our dad and our man would kill us and dance about in our graves singing Hallelujah. You try tell user today that they wouldn't bloody believe you. No, they won't. They won't. <laughs>